Hi everyone, Bob is in the house and today I decided to do a short informative video uh, and the reason why I actually decided to do this video is because a lot of people actually have this music streaming service for free. They literally have it on their phones and they don't even know it. Uh, and I'm talking about uh, Amazon Music Prime or Amazon Prime Music, uh, that streaming service you most likely have it because I, I assume if you live in the United States, for example, or even if you're not in the United States, actually, Amazon is a pretty popular company worldwide. And uh, there are countries where, you know, it's very popular to use Amazon, not only in the United States. So I'm living in the United States. That's why I'm <laughs> going to be talking more of a, in the perspective of the United States, but uh, here, what you can do is actually if you have Amazon Prime, uh, the Amazon Music, Prime Music uh, membership comes for free. So you can actually uh, subscribe to that, like, I mean, you know, create your login, password and everything and start using, start listening to music uh, pretty much, uh, you know, for free. I mean, of course, you're paying for the Prime membership, but if you're already paying for the Prime membership, you have a free uh, music streaming service and uh, I uh, decided to tell you guys this because there are people in my life that not don't necessarily have a music streaming service and uh, s for some people it's actually um, a deal breaker and honestly like when it comes to streaming services like the reason why they don't want to um, pay for music let's say is because you know, maybe they're not as invested as you and I are uh, in music. You know, I'm uh, okay with paying uh, every month uh, for my Apple Music subscription, for example. But, you know, there are people who don't really find it necessary to uh, pay for music streaming service. But the thing is, they end up sort of, if they want to listen to music, they end up listening to, to it on YouTube for free or maybe Spotify free version with ads or maybe download um, illegally. But listening to it officially um, to the music and conveniently have it on your on your phone, like easy to go, just search it, play it. Let's go instead of like downloading all the time and like, you know, manually doing it. Uh, it just takes time. So yeah, the convenience of streaming service is definitely great and uh, I just wanted to share you guys this information what if you already have Amazon <laughs> uh, Prime like use your Prime music membership if you didn't know about it you know what I'm saying so um, yeah so the, there are countries uh, besides United States that actually can uh, use a, um, a Prime music membership and I want to like read you guys out loud so the countries are that you can have this feature uh, is in United States, in Canada, you can get Amazon Prime Music for free if you have a uh, Prime membership. Uh, and then also United Kingdom, France, Germany and Austria, Italy and uh, Spain, uh, India, Japan. So, oh, Australia as well. Australia, uh, how are you guys? Um, and um, Mexico and Brazil. So those are the countries, actually, if you live in one of those countries, feel free to <laughs> go to Amazon right now. Uh, Amazon Prime, if you have it, check out your Prime Music that comes for free. All you have to do is uh, like uh, download Prime Music app, uh, put your login and password uh, for Amazon Prime, and you will be enrolled in, there will be music, yes, um, it's not Amazon Music Unlimited, so there's a difference between Amazon Prime Music and Amazon Unlimited. Unlimited, you can play everything possible in the earth. With Prime Music, there are some songs that you probably won't be able to play, like, like some of them are locked, but usually, uh, mostly, uh, you will be able to find what you need. So, yeah, I feel like it's, uh, it's exciting, it's exciting. And plus, you know, with that, not all, I mean, with that and with other things like uh, Amazon Alexa, uh, Amazon is actually utilizing these things to grow their audience uh, with uh, Amazon uh, Prime Music. And 
what I have here is like pretty interesting information. Like they're saying that uh, Amazon can overtake Apple Music. Uh, they're saying that uh, in early 2020, Amazon reported 55 million users <laughs> subscribing to its music service. Like I honestly don't really use Amazon Music, but 55 million users, that's crazy. This was growing at 50% year on year. It is likely that the pandemic would have increased this growth rate as more people stayed home. Even with a similar growth rate of 50%, Amazon Music's global subscriber base should be over 80 million. So they don't have official numbers for 2021 yet, they're just assuming, but um, so like, yeah, supposedly 80 million people uh, in the world there, there is um, listening to Amazon Prime Music already. Uh, comparing to Apple, let's say, uh, Apple has not updated its music subscriber numbers in over 18 months. The last update in June 2019 mentioned that the company has over 60 million paid subscribers. Uh, there's strong possibility that Amazon's music subscriber base has overtaken Apple due to the increase in smart speaker sales during the pandemic. Yeah, like uh, they're showing that Amazon's growth rate is faster than Apple. And it's, it's crazy. Like I, you know, I would assume that Amazon Prime Music is not as big, you know, it's not on people's minds, not, not everybody like talking about it at all. Like usually it's, you know, Spotify, Apple Music, we're like, we're like big names, correct? So, but giants, so competing with those two giants. So interesting, interesting. So yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, pretty interesting information, in my opinion. I hope you will say thank you if <laughs> you actually didn't know about this information and uh, you will have you will end up having today a new a, um, a streaming service. So uh, yeah, but that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the like if button if you like this video. Subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in the next ones. Bye.